folks, Steve here at Boss Fillers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2021 East to West Delaterra model 312BH. It's a family unit, two slides, master bedroom at the front, kids room at the back. It's got a slide in the kids room, uh, outside kitchen. Very nice unit, very popular. Uh, we do well with the product line. It's 37 foot 8 inch overall length, that's including the tongue. And it weighs 85, 85. So it's still towable, but the majority of them that we sell end up being parked uh, permanently in campgrounds. So the Delaterra is a product line that differ a little bit from what we're accustomed to seeing in the industry. It is a stick and tin construction. But what I mean by that, it's got wood framing, aluminum on the outside. As a rule, most manufacturers will try to cut corners when they build a trailer like that because they can really bring the price down. Well, that's not the case with East to West. They're trying to build a better product in this particular category. So we have a fully framed 12-inch uh, on center floor joist deck with 5'8 tongue and groove plywood. That's extremely rare. As a rule, you'll have OSB or chipboard. Here it's plywood. And pretty much the whole, as, as they build the trailer, every time that they have to make um, a decision, it will be to... Uh, be a better construction. So fully enclosed and heated on their belly, 15k AC is standard, 35,000 BTU furnace is standard. All of these little things are a little bit better. 45 gallon freshwater tanks. Anyway, the list is pretty extensive, so I'm suggest you take a, a moment and read up uh, the little description I have on our website. It's going to tell you everything this little trailer has. So uh, we're going to go around. Let's get started. We're going to start with the outside. Uh, there's a hitch line at the front, there's a stone guard, 2 times 20 pounder, you get an electric tongue jack on those, those are standard features. Around the corner here, we have our central uh, station, so we have power, cable and satellite, your city water connection, a battery disconnect, and hot and cold water, and it comes with this little hose right here with a gun, if you want you can always change the the gun for a shower head. A nice little tray, so if there's anything dripping, it will drip in the tray and outside. There is a motion detector light on this side. There is another one on the other side. Your fresh water tank. Four Caesar Jacks. We already mentioned the fully enclosed and heated on the belly. This trailer is equipped with 50 amp connection because we have a large AC and we have a fireplace. A black tank flush to help you clean the black tank. And there's your outlets right there uh, for your gray tanks and your black tank. So uh, we are noticed there's a color-coded uh, handle. So there's two gray handles right here and there's a black one right here. So this trailer is equipped with two gray tanks. All of the slide outs on this product lines are rack and pinion system. So whatever system is underneath there is the best the industry has to offer. Also double wiper seals. And that little bulb right here, it's not a stick and peel like a lot of manufacturers, it's in the track. It's just never going to come off. Uh, there's rain gutters and spot extension on the trailer as well. So we're going to go around the other side because it's a little tight on this side of the building. And this time of the year we'll bring them in, uh, give them a bath, and uh, make sure everything is uh, up to par to show our customers in the yard. So uh, let's go around this corner. Right here at the front we have a connection for a solar panel. We have a motion detector light like we mentioned on, on the other side. They actually put little brackets to keep your cranks uh, in place. One of them is for your jack. The other one is a backup system for your electric tongue jacks. We have a door to the front bedroom. It's equipped with aluminum slots. Pretty nice. A large awning. Electric awning with LED lights. Outside speakers. There's a power outlets and cable outlets. If you decide to bring a little TV outside, you could. Six bolt pattern on the wheels. Radial tires. We get the new steps. They're very sturdy, very large. I love the first step right here, it's super large. Foldable entry handle. And we have our outside kitchen as well, right here. There's a power outlets. There's a griddle. And there's a mini fridge. There is another connection to the cold water system. It's your spray sport. So that little coiled hose I showed you on the other side could be connected here as well. There is a gas connection underneath. At the back we have our spare tire. 
we're ready for a backup camera if we get to tow. And that's about it. So again, folks, a couple things to remember. 37 foot, 8 inch overall length. And it weighs just a little shy of 8,600 pounds. So I think we're done the outside. Uh, we're going to take a pause and we're going to do another tour for the inside. Steve here at Boss Trailers. Uh, we are taking a look at the interior of a 2021 East to West Delaterra model 312BH. We're already done the outside, so if you were looking at the outside video on our website, here's uh, the version for the inside. So, I uh, will start right here in the living space. We now have a three-fold sofa. It is an option, but we get to put that in. So that's an extra sleeping for a couple of adults. We have a very nice large dinette that can actually sit for adults. It's 48 inch wide, so there's no issues whatsoever. I love the windows, a lot of large windows, so when it's outside, a lot of the natural light will come in. There are a couple drawers underneath the boot. I'm a big fan, can put a lot of stuff in here. That's pretty nice. Uh, we'll talk about the kitchen. Farmer style, deep, stainless steel sinks, undermounted. Restaurant style tap. They upgraded the windows this year, so it's much, much wider. We get to see a little bit more on the outside. Plenty of lights. They also added some glass insert on the kitchen cabinet. Dress it up a little bit. I really like that change. Stainless steel appliances. Charcoal filter range hood. Uh, three burner. Uh, very nice stove. I really like the grill on those. Those are cast iron. Uh, the, the knob lights as well. That's pretty nice. And uh, there's also a light in the oven. It's a little oven, but they're all, this, they're all about the same size. It's animal finished, so it's easy to clean and maintain. Uh, talking about the stove, the bifold glass top, and it's flush mounted. There's also a spot for your knife back here. Uh, all the drawers are plywood made. Ball bearing hardware. There's always a place for a garbage can as well, right there underneath the sink. And the fridge on this one is a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. It's huge. So this is fairly new in the industry. Uh, they're going with a 12 volt fridge. It gives the manufacturer a little bit more flexibility. It's more efficient than a gas fridge as well. It doesn't take a long to get cold. And uh, it doesn't take as much power if you're towing to keep the fridge going on battery as well. So if that's the way... Uh, you guys are going to be camping on this particular unit. We can talk about what you're going to need, either solar panel wise or battery wise. Uh, it does come with a 40 inch flat screen TV. There's an AM FM, uh, USB auxiliary, HDMI, Bluetooth stereo already installed. 30 inch flush mounted uh, fireplace. It does produce heat. It's actually a 31 inch, so they're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> It does produce heat, it's electric, so if you plugged in at the campsite, you don't necessarily need to fire up the furnace to keep, uh, to keep the camper warm at night, especially during the summer. That should be doing the job just fine. Talking about the furnace, we didn't we probably didn't notice, but there is no uh, grids on the floor. They're all through the wall. So that prevents uh, the manufacturer from having those, um, those grill on the floor. It, kind of uh, makes the floor softer in some area and it's always full of sands and dirts and you know food leftovers it always ends up in there so you don't have that problem with this particular trailer because they're all through the cabinet now at the front we probably didn't notice but there's a couple of very nice things when you come in the first thing is, is there's a mini closet here with a couple of hooks on the wall and a little shelf it's perfect for, you know, for the kids' coats and, and uh, shoes. But there is a walk-in closet with a motion detector light and a lot of shelf. So the perfect spot to hide the brooms and kids' bicycle and helmet and stuff like that. Sliding pocket doors to get to the rear bedroom. There is a sofa that converts into a bed. There is a bed on the top on some gas trucks. It's 300 pounds rated. There's a USB outlet here. There's another one right here on the wall for the top bunk. And there is one for each of the bunk on the other side. Now, those bunks are wider. They're 41 inch wide. There's lots of storage here. There's a power outlet and there's a window at each bunk. And there's a roof vent. The ventilation is incredible. There's lots of storage. 
on the side as well as underneath. Look how deep that is. And for the kids, there is a spot for a TV if you want. There's power and a connection to cable right there. Now we mentioned about the furnace being 25,000 uh, BTU on the uh, when we were doing the tour on the outside, but the furnace is super large, standard on all the Laterra, 35,000 BTU. The same with the AC, it's 15K standard on all their units. Let's take a look at the front bathroom and bedroom. It's a walk-through bathroom. The real door. Talking about the, the walls, they're three inch interior walls. This is not moving. So first of all, a large sink. Really like that. Plenty of counters so everybody can have a cup and a toothbrush right here on the counter. There's a double medicine cabinet and there's some storage below. Plenty of storage. There is on this side a spot to put your towels and maybe some uh, extra sheets and blankets if you want. And there's a 36 by 30, or I'm sorry, 40 by 36 shower stall right there with a roll up curtain. And there's a skylight. I'm 5 foot 8. I fit perfect in here. There's plenty of room. I could be almost a foot taller. Porcelain toilet. It's not the standard one, it's an upgraded. So we get to put that in. Front bedroom, sliding pocket door again. I like the size of the opening. You don't need to fight to get in the bedroom. King size bed, standard. 72 inch wide. And there are storage underneath. You can notice that even the bed base is made out of plywood instead of OSB. And look at the thickness of the bed base itself. So there is gas struts. Again, we can see right there on the side her vent for the uh, for the furnace. Now on each side you get a USB and a power outlet. They also left behind the little cabinet here open up so it could be a place to put your reading glasses, the book you read, a glass of water, your alarm clock, whatever it is. A couple of little drawers. Shirt closet with a, a real bar, kind of nice. A little bit of storage be above, sorry. There's also a spot for a TV here. There's a window and there's a door to get out. Roof vent, AC vent on the, on the ceiling. And there's a light switch on the wall. Talking about light switch, there's another one here for the kitchen, it's, uh, for the bathroom itself. So folks, I think we've done it. Great little family unit. Um, it has everything a uh, more expensive trailer would have. Just not as much because of the way it's constructed. Is it much cheaper than a fiberglass unit? Absolutely not. It's just built differently and the cost of manufacturing those trailers are a little less and it's representative on the pricing. Folks, if you have any questions, please drop us an email or give us a call. Stop by to see it. Uh, we'll be happy to help you out. Folks, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.